my lifelong passion for storytelling started early. Sitting with my grandpa in Jackson, Tennessee, I learned from the expert. We would sit together, watching St. Louis Cardinal games via cable, listening to the radio broadcast from Jack Buck, and reading the previous game story in the paper, all at the same time. It piqued my interest in perspective, context, and the subtle details that made up a great story. In college, I found communications is the closest thing I could find to what I resonated with so much. But the theory, it drove me out of the classroom to real visual storytelling. So I found production. It sparked my dream for the impossible, working for the worldwide leader. I love the innovative, creative, and inspiring professional culture, which focused on training, development, and process. I learned about the detailed, efficient storytelling that was emotional and entertaining. I love visual storytelling, but I want to do something more meaningful with it. So, my wife and I researched grad school programs to transition out of the TV world into the teaching world. Two programs in the nation had something called media literacy, which is thinking critically about media, how it works, how to create effectual media, and how to do it in a meaningful way. I taught at the college level for a bit before finding Lake Forest High School. The first semester is always hard, but I had to change the curriculum and the culture towards intentional, authentic visual storytelling, a strong belief in process as much as the product, and it led to a transformational change in the department. Grant money, cross-curricular, and community-based projects opened doors to authentic learning experiences students desired to take part in. I listened, learned, and change the curriculum to fit an evolving technology, visual learners, and a community audience. As we engaged the community, they in turn engaged us. I created Scout Stories. I researched the business within a school model and wrote a business plan for my administrators to meet the needs of the community, provide fair compensation for the professional level work, and the rest would be profit to the program. What started with a few projects in 2006 has turned into hundreds as word of mouth marketing spread around the community and I've grossed nearly $100,000 over the last five years. This is a different way of looking at education, but one that's essential to help a new type of learner because education isn't about how I experienced it. It's about how I can make education a better experience for the next generation.